In this video, I will show how to form a PLS model using the Unscrambler. If we click on Tasks, then Analyze, we can select Partial Least Squares Regression. This prompts a dialog box that is very similar to the PCA dialog box. One of the differences is that now we have to define a Y response variable in addition to the X variable. For this example, our purpose is to try to predict the sensory measurements based on our chemical measurements. Thus, our predictors are going to be our chemical variables, and the responses that we want to predict are going to be the sensory measurements. We are going to use this column set of important sensory variables that we defined in the data handling video. We tick identify outliers and we will choose the exact same parameters that we have chosen for our PCA model. Standardizing the x variables, we now also have a y response, so we're going to do the same thing for the response variables. In the validation tab, we can set up a random cross-validation with 10 segments and 6 samples per segment. After this, we can press finish. We see we get a new node with the results from a PLS analysis in our project navigator, in which we see an overview of the results in a graphic way. It is very similar to the results from PCA. Here we have scores, which we can color by right-clicking, sample grouping, selecting the variable we want to group by, label by name, apply, and finally we get the color. Now that we see that for the loadings plot we also have x and y because we also have a response variable, but the interpretation is exactly the same. 